while on or before the 5th of September, in the year of our Lord, 1718, to render him or themselves to any one of the principal secretaries of state in Great Britain or Ireland, or to any governor or deputy governor of any of our plantations beyond the sea. Every such pirate and pirate shall surrender in him or themselves as a forced shall have our gracious past of and for such his or their piracy or piracy. By him or them committed before the 5th of January next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers as big. And all our governors and commanders of any fort, castle, or other places in our plantations. And all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly.
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the king's pardon and salvage what dignity we Peace. owe. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you forecastle headed fuddlers, see you at the gallows. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink.